Hey guys, Roman here from RomanProps.com. Um, I get a lot of questions about weathering and techniques, tips and tricks. Um, but it's not always easy conveying what I'd like in an email or private message. So I thought, well, why not video? And that's what we're here for today. I figured I'd start with probably the most common question I get, which is how to install a D-ring on your sink knob without scratching up the finish. Well, what we're going to need, need nose pliers, adjustable pliers, and either a Dremel or, my personal favorite, bolt cutters. Oh, look at those monsters. Uh, I prefer the bolt cutters because it's faster. Uh, either way, doesn't matter. All we're going to do is cut out a section of the D-ring. Um, what we're going to do is cut out about an eighth from the center, a sixteenth on each side. Uh, the reason we do this is if you've ever tried to install this, maybe you've noticed that the D-ring won't close because of the angle. So you cut out a section, it decreases the angle and allows you to close the D-ring. All right, I've already got one pre-cut here. I cut out a, about a sixteenth on each side. I use my needle nose to re remove those sections. There you go. Oh, it's starting to rain. Okay, uh, about an eighth. Use my pliers to open it up. Uh, I usually open it up um, about half an inch. And that doesn't that doesn't deform the D-ring in any way. It's still fine. Take my adjustables. And uh, do my install. There we go. Right there. Ready to install. Slide it in one side. Just squeeze it closed. That's it. D rings installed. Look at that. Nice and easy. Okay, guys, that's it. That's my first tip. Uh, if you got any other questions, anything you'd like to have answered, uh, leave me a comment below and I will try to get to it. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the board.